Hi boys and girls, hope you guys are all doing well. This is Dr. Khan and happy new day. Uh, today we are going to be working on module five, lesson eight, module five, lesson eight. And let's get started. Okay, so fluency practice. Firstly, we're going to start out by adding common units. It's very important to learn how to add common units because it helps us uh, solve, uh, use mental math. Okay, it helps us quickly solve math problems when we understand that just look at the common units, right? So here we uh, say 303 in unit form. 303 ones. Good job. Now say 303 plus 202 using the unit form. You have 300, 3 ones plus 202 ones, which equals 505 ones. Good job. So basically you look at the common units. You're adding the 3 ones with the 2 ones. You're adding the 300 with the 200, okay? 303 plus 205 equals 505. You can now visually see it as well when you use the number sentence, right? There's the three ones and the two ones, there's the zero tens and the zero tens, the 300 and the 200. There you go, 505. Visually looking at the common units, okay? That is, again, it's very important to conceptually see numbers, right? That's what we really want to start learning to do, okay? Let's go and move on to our application problem. Susan has 37 pennies, MJ has 55 more pennies than Susan. A, how many pennies does MJ have? B, how many pennies do they have all together? So this is a two-step problem. Let's read this again. Again, remember when you use the read your write strategy, you want to make sure that you're re really understanding what the application problem is asking you. So you wanna read it twice at least and you want to uh, paraphrase what's happening. So again, you can internalize and conceptually see what's happening. So Susan has 37 pennies. MJ has 55 more pennies than Susan. A, how many pennies does MJ have? B, how many pennies do they have all together? So, hmm, let me see. Let me uh, paraphrase this. So Susan has 37 pennies. Uh, we don't really know what MJ has because they're just telling us that she has 55 more than Susan. So that's important to understand. Did you see what I just did? I, cons I just paraphrased, I just talked about it. I talked out loud about it, okay? Very, very good. So the question is, how many pennies does MJ have? Pause the video right now and turn and talk to your family member or someone near you about how to solve this. Okay, unpause, good job. So how many pennies does MJ have? So firstly, I'm going to conceptually represent this. There's Susan with 37. We have 55 more, right? And we need to figure out how, much, how many pennies MJ has. Again, 37 for Susan. MJ has 55 more, right, than Susan. So 37 and 55, and we need to figure out the uh, how many um, pennies she has. So 37 more. It seems like it's going to be plus. It seems like we're going to have to add that, those two numbers. Or again, you can do it conceptually represent using 37 for Susan here, 55 more, and then here for uh, MJ. Now, it seems, do you agree with me? Do we have to add? Yes, absolutely, we have to add because there's 37 is Susan's total. We need to figure out what is MJ's total. We don't know that information, but we do know that she has 55 more. So there's that's why we're adding the 37 plus the 55, okay? So 37 plus 55, set, start, start with the ones column, seven ones plus five ones is 12 ones. Going to conduct the unit switch, I'm going to keep the two ones, I'm going to take the one 10 over there into the one tens, the tens column. Three tens plus five tens plus one 10 is nine tens. That's 92, good job. MJ has 92 pennies, right, in total. Now you can also use the arrow way, again, using two different methods, helps us to, to again, practice more math and also to see if our answers are correct. So I have 37 plus 55, right? I'm going to decompose the 55. Take the biggest 10 out, which is 50. I'm going to take that five ones and turn it into three ones and two ones. So 37 plus 50 equals 87. 87 plus the three equals 90. The reason I took the three out I, from, the, from the five ones is because the next, this will give me the next 10. 87 plus 3 gives me the next 10, which is 90. Add the leftover, which is the 2, plus 2 is a 92. That is MJ's total. Good job. Does the 
vertical weight match with the arrow weight? Absolutely. Good, good job. So we have used the read, draw, write strategy with a two-step problem. Oh, but are we done yet? No, we're not. Because now we have to solve the second step, right? How many pennies do they have all together? How many pennies do they have all together? Now, many of you might just, uh, or, 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 or some of you might just take the 37 and add the 55. Would that be correct? No way, Jose. <laughs> and the reason why is because that is not MJ's total, right? This is MJ's total, right? This is MJ has 55 more pennies than Susan. That's all that is, that 55. But some of you might say, oh, I'm going to take the 37, I'm going to add them with the 55, and that's how I get the top, the, how many they have all together. No, 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 no. Do not let them trick you. You're too smart for that. Okay? So, always, it helps, it always helps to represent it using the conceptual way. Use, use a conceptual representation. That will help you visually see it. So, there's Susan's 37 pennies. There's MJ's 92 pennies, right? That's Susan's total. That's MJ's total. That's what we're adding. We are not adding the 55 because the 55 is not a total for anyone, right? 37 plus 92. Seven ones plus two ones is nine ones. Excellent job. Three tenths plus nine tenths gives you what? 12 tenths. You take, keep the two tenths here, take the 100. 100 plus one, uh, and then 100 and you bring it down. So you have 129. 37 plus 92 equals 129. Altogether, Susan and MJ have 129 pennies. Did you just see what I did? Again, I use a read your right strategy here. I also use a read your right strategy here as well. Good job. We are going to move on to our conceptual development. Relate manipulative representations to addition algorithm. Basically, all we're doing today is adding three digit numbers using a unit switch. What is a unit switch? When you bundle a number, when you rename a number, when you compose a new unit. You know this from the previous module, module four. Okay, all you're doing right now is you're transferring those skills that you use with two digit numbers to two, three digit numbers, okay? So let's uh, solve problem one, using a, adding a three digit number, using a unit switch. You're going to watch me first, and problem two, you are going to do, uh, solve with me, okay? So let's look at the steps. So the steps include, represent the numbers vertically. Number two, represent each atom in the place value chart. Number three, step, start with the ones column, conduct a unit switch if necessary. Number four is repeat the process with uh, the tens column and the hundreds column. Step five, check using the vertical way. Okay, again, you remember this? This seems very familiar because we've done this work in module four. Okay, good work. So let's Watch the teacher as she solves 303 plus 37. So first I'm going to represent it the vertical way, 303 plus 37. Then represent each atom in the place value chart. So um, I drew the hundreds column, the tens and the ones. I represent three, the 303. So there's the 300, 0, 10, and 3, 1. Represent the second atom, 37. There's the three tens. And the seven ones. Okay, now I have to add it, right? And see if I, if I have to conduct a unit switch. So basically here, I have to add it and see if I have to conduct a unit switch. So let's see. Let me add the three ones plus seven ones. I get ten ones, which I yes, I can conduct a unit switch. It turns into one ten. So I box it and turn this into a one ten. I have zero left over here right? Zero. Good. Now I add the second, the tens column, right? So here I have three tens from the, from the 37, and then I have the new 110, right? So three tens plus 110 equals four tens. Do you see that? Good job. And then I just have the 300 that's still remaining there. Nothing happened to the hundreds column. I bring that three down. I have 340 when you use the place value chart. Good job. Now I'm going to check this, as it says, using the vertical way. 303 plus 37, three ones plus seven ones equals 10 ones. I keep the zero here. I conduct a unit switch where I take the one tenth on the tens column. Zero tenths plus three tenths plus one ten equals four tenths. I bring down the 300, that's 340. 
340. Do they match? Yes, they do. 340, 340. Excellent, excellent job. Good job, boys and girls. You guys are doing amazing work. I hope you're focusing. And remember, you guys are rock stars. You are always going to be rock stars. Good, good work. So let's move on to problem two. 211 plus 95. 211 plus 95. Let's use the same procedure. Cons represent the numbers vertically. 211 plus 95. Represent each atom in the place value chart. So there's 200. Everyone's doing this with me now. So you're writing this with your paper and pencil. There's the 200, there's the 110, there's the 11. Good. Let's represent 95. There's the 90, right? The 910. And then the 5, 1. Good, good work. Now I'm supposed to start with the ones column, add it, conduct the units if necessary. I'm supposed to add the tens column, add it, conduct the units if necessary, and then follow the same procedure for the hundreds column. So let's start out with the ones column. So I have one, one one plus five ones equals six ones. Good job. Here I have one ten plus nine ten. That equals ten tens. Ten tens. Can I conduct a unit switch? Yes. Alert! Alert! Yay! Okay. So that turns into one hundred. So I box it and I take turn that into a one hundred. I turn the box of ten tens again. Turn it into one hundred. What do I have left over? Zero. Here. So now this turns into three hundred. So I have three hundred and six. Three hundred and six. Let's check this using the vertical way. 211 plus 95. 1, 1 plus 5 ones equals 6 ones. 1, 10 plus 9 tens equals 10 tens. Alert, alert, unit switch. So there you go. You put the zero there. You take the 100 on the uh, hundreds column. 200 plus 100 equals 300. The answer is 306. Do they match? 306 and the 306 here? Absolutely. I hope this was helpful. I hope this was easy. And I love it. Good, good work, boys and girls, and hope to see you soon. Take care.